Hey, it's Willie Armelini with your floral industry buzz. Today we're going to interview Dwight Larimer of Design Master and Ann Stewart from Smithers Oasis. Uh, recently, we caught up with them at the Wolfson Convention in Miami, and uh, perhaps you don't know, or if you do, that uh, Smithers has purchased Design Master, and uh, we thought we'd uh, catch up with what's going on. So, without further ado, Dwight Larimer and Ann Stewart. Well, we have been working together um, in that capacity for a lot of years. So, the actual merger is kind of a it's about time. It's about it's just a, it's yeah. a matter of when. That's why it made so, so much sense yeah. to us. It, it just was, so you had that relationship for so long. Yeah, and it just exactly. kind of worked out to, to get at it. Exactly. And what, uh, so it brings a lot of strength. Because you didn't sell paint, I guess, or or did you sell paint? Well, we, we had a small brand for, you know, really under a year. And right. um, ultimately in North America, um, Dwight did it better. So, okay. <laughs> so we wanted to, uh, you know, just just move away from what we did um, because he was design master is the brand, it and is the brand, yeah. and so it just made sense to uh, to do that. So, you no, know, it's uh, it's been a just a terrific terrific transition, and it's it's such a privilege to be able to work with Dwight. It's it's great. Hey, take us back a little way. So, where, where did design master come from? Um, Mark Addison was Mark the founder Addison. of Design Master. Right. His family actually um, owned, ran the factory. And he said to dad as a young 25 year old, you know, I've seen Boulder and I like Boulder. And so I'm going to start a business out there in Boulder. Mm -hmm. And that was the beginning of Design Master. And we have had a relationship with that factory for it's our 60th anniversary. Wow. Mark Addison started the business 60 years ago. and. Uh, the factory was that makes the paint. The factory that makes the paint, correct. The factory. And Design the Master paint. was the the marketing arm. Or yes. The, yeah. yeah. Well, yes. Design Master was a sales and marketing arm, and, and Mark. Uh, I I joke when Mark hired me, he sent me to Chicago first to see the factory, and then he brought me out to Boulder, Colorado, and he asked me at one point in time, Dwight, you could you could live in Chicago, South Chicago, by the factory, hmm. or you could live in Boulder, Colorado. So, and I said, is this a <laughs> trick interview question? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll pick Boulder. Pick Boulder. Yeah, yeah. Boulder's a pretty nice place. Yeah. You, you know, something that's really interesting that always catches my attention is both of your company, the science behind the product. Right. Can, can we talk about, I know it's kind of off the topic of better together than ever, but that's just so interesting to me is the science with Oasis and science with, can you talk a little bit about that? Well, certainly from the Oasis standpoint, yeah. we have, um, I don't know, I forget, probably six or eight PhD um, uh, researchers on staff mm -hmm. and they spend their days um, looking at different types of, of you know, technology and, and things that we can use to, you know, do things differently and and improve continuous improvement is is certainly one of the things that we're we're all about and um, so that's that's it's really it really is a scientific process and um, so from design master standpoint with with design master the unique attribute um, is its compatibility with flowers yep. and mm -hmm. and that's based in combination of things the resins the solvents so we really try and coach the word paint out of the discussion, and it's a floral spray yeah, or it's a color tool. Okay. And so um, that all has to do with the chemistry that is involved in it. That chemistry works well on flowers, but it also is a great tool on lots of surfaces, lots of substrates. So yeah. the attributes from flowers to containers to silk, uh, we, have, we have people that decorate silk scarves, and it doesn't change the feel of the fabric. Mm -hmm. It's very delicate. We have kite manufacturers that use it on their kites to make big, beautiful kites, and it doesn't change the texture. If you tried to take paint and do that, it'd stiffen it, mm -hmm. and our product doesn't. So mm -hmm. that's why it works on flowers. That's also why it works on silks and ribbon and containers and all sorts of different uh, surfaces. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Hey, and bring us back a little bit, because uh, again, Smithers is such a global company. Mm -hmm. uh, I think probably the average person might think of Smithers Oasis, the phone company. Right. Uh, which is obviously one of your major products. No question. But uh, but you have other products. You uh, you have. We do. You now have preservatives because you got chloralite. Yes. yes. Uh, which yes. I thought was a good move. Yes. Uh, I told Charlie that. <laughs> and uh, and what else? Yeah, I think. 
there's other things. We do many, many different different types of things. We have a, a whole grower division, as an example, and we do specific products dedicated to the grower application. Um, we have a temp, temp precision international division, which is our um, temperature control packaging that we do for mm. things like transporting you know, food goods and also vaccines. Um, so that's mm. that's a different division of the mm -hmm. company. So we have we have different divisions that specialize in different areas. Um, and from the floral side, we're, we're very excited because we have developed a an OK compostable um, product. It's it's called TerraBrick Floral Media. And uh, we are launching that globally uh, later on this month. And we're doing a sneak peek here at Wufsa of that product. So um, it's it's OK home and industrial compostable. So that's that's innovation and, and new. Mm -hmm. And that's something we're we're really proud of and excited about. Congratulations. So a lot of different things. A lot really. of different things. Uh, and what's next? Uh, you got some other? Uh... You know, we we are always looking for different new products. And if you think about those researchers that I talked about, you know, their their job and their role is to help us not only in floral, but also in grower and, and these other divisions that, that we support. And I can't not mention Floral Life. Mm. Because um, that is is a very integral part of our, our business mm. and our, our product line has, has been an amazing and continues to be an amazing product line um, for us. And we also have researchers around the world um, that are, are working on Floral Life products. So, Yeah, because that's science for sure. It definitely is science. science. Yes. yes. Trying yes. to concoct these things. Well, in no way to diminish <laughs> the PhDs. But I think both companies are well known for listening to the marketplace, right. yeah, listening so to the customer. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where a lot of the innovation comes. We're, Oasis is a very large company. Design Master is a okay large company, but we're very close to the market and we listen very carefully. And we work with lots of designers and a lot of times yeah. the innovation comes, the idea comes from that user that's and then the creation is the PhDs and figure out how to do it. That's yeah. true. Yeah. How, yeah. So how can those people be more intentional in communicating with you and what their needs are or what their trends seem to have, be happening as well? You know what, from my standpoint, I think it's up to up to us to, to yeah, ask and answer. continually, you know, reach out and, and understand and try to try to really see the trends, not just not just with direct customers, but end consumers and really, you know, Dwight, to your point, understand what they are looking for and, and how do we um, help flowers last longer and give them that phenomenal experience that you know, whether you're you're purchasing flowers for your home or, you're, you know, it's your your daughter's wedding or or whatever it is or, or that sympathy piece. How do we how do we give that consumer the best experience they can have? Well, as a strategy, we're familiar and we're friendly. And so people are approachable. Very. Yes, they're very inclined to approach us. And and that's the open channel. And I think one of the reasons that this uh, design master and Snow's Oasis partnership is working we both have that same philosophy. Uh, we both have that same instinct. And so uh, there's no difference in the cultures. We're both friendly and familiar. People come to us. Um, Good, bad, or indifferent. Here's a small <laughs> challenge. I, uh, I take flowers home, you know, my wife buys flowers. If they don't come with a flower satchel or with a, a preservative satchel, I'm sort of stuck. You know, where do you buy that stuff? I guess you can go to a florist and buy it, but uh, it seems to me I'd like to have a a, a, a jug of it or a jar on my, uh, you know, because I've never, I mean, sometimes they come with a satchel, sometimes they don't. Mm -hmm. And I said, you got to use flower food. Right? Don't right. Use flower right. near you. Right. <laughs> right. And and the other great place to buy it is floralike.com. Ah, yeah. good comeback. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I have to buy some. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Please do. Please do. You like that. You like Let that. me write the order. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> so, Jay Schwanke here is saying two great industry icons, stronger together, better than ever. Um, and then also awesome news. Thanks, Miller and Smithers. So, I, I guess they're talking talking about the new new product that you're working mm -hmm. with. So, that's um, Jay Schwanke. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the product lines will uh, continue on, uh, mm -hmm. and 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 you'll endeavor to continue making innovations. I guess Design Master will be we're a division of 
but we will continue to be a specific entity and we have our role in color and we will, I mean, that's, that's what the Smithers company wants us to do is to continue to be the color leader and we will. So I will continue on with the company and thrilled to be working with so many experts, you know, as a, as a small business, I was the, you know, Jack of all trades, master of none. And now I have backstage horsepower in IT technology, you and exactly. research. Oh, it is so incredible. I don't have to fake it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to pretend like I understand the technology. They have a technology department that's awesome. So talking about technology, you see the need for that technology. Oh, absolutely. You, you've seen absolutely. it empower you and, and really. The, they have worked internationally. And so therefore remote is not a concept that's new to them. Yeah. It wasn't created with COVID. They're dealing with Australia, Japan. They, and so the whole concept of interactive technology is years and years and years of how the yeah, yeah. Smithers Oasis company is operating. Wow. So we're just kind of flowing right into that. And it's yeah. so fun. And so Where nice. is Smithers based in these states? Um, our corporate office is in Kent, Kent Ohio. In Kent, Ohio. Yeah. Okay. But we have operating units in 20 other countries around yeah. the world. <laughs> so um, Floor Life's headquarters is in uh, South Carolina, just outside of Charleston, right. Georgia, and um, we have units in the UK and Germany, et cetera, and Dwight highlighted some of our other, mm -hmm. other units in Malaysia, India. Hey, well, let's talk about foam for a minute. Okay, my favorite topic. <laughs> let's talk about foam for a minute because, uh, you know, there's a lot of controversy now. There, I've been reading it and writing a little bit about it that, uh, you know, it's uh, how maybe it's not biodegradable or is biodegradable or people are saying, you know, don't use foam because it's not good for the environment and blah, blah, blah. And I've had people telling me, no, use my foam. It's, mine is better. So what's the deal with foam? Is it, uh, is it biodegradable? Or? Well, we have um, our Max Life Floral Foam is biodegradable, 75% um, in one year. Um, and we just received a certification from Intertech, um, a, an internationally known uh, company that certifies biodegradable products. So we're very excited about that. So you'll see that here at the show, um, we're featuring that. But that truthfully, that product has been biodegradable since we, um, kind of reinvented it back in 2014. So, you know, if you ask people, um, you know, do you think this is biodegradable? People will generally um, not know perhaps that that it is. So with this certification, we're very excited because it it gives a little bit more um, um, play to, to that. Is that your basic foam or is that an upscale? That, scale that is a little bit more upscale. We have, we what we're trying to do, Willie, is, is to cater to the market, whatever that market is looking for. So again, to Dwight's um, point about listening to your end users, some end users want just our Advantage Plus foam. It it works really mm -hmm. well, it hydrates really well, and it's perfect for, for it, many different applications. Others want something biodegradable. Um, so we are able to offer that. Now with our new TerraBrick Floral Media, we are able to offer something that's okay compostable. So it, it, it you know, we're really trying to um, provide people a choice. Um, so, so hopefully that, that helps explain a little bit about the foam um, market. Is that the midnight foam or is that? Midnight foam is um, biodegradable. It's, okay. it's very similar to our Max Life um, green foam. Okay. Formula. Gotcha. Mid Midnight was developed because, quite frankly, again, we were trying to offer different choices. And with Midnight Foam, the great thing about it is, is that um, you can use foam as part of the art and part of the yes. decor. Mm. So, you know, quick story. My daughter got married a couple of years ago. She specified Midnight Foam for every single arrangement. Right. And it was amazing. It was Gorgeous! It just looked beautiful. Okay. So, um, you know, so that's that's again trying to listen to the consumer and and understand what they want, what works for them. It comes in different colors these days, isn't it? Um, yeah. Really, from our standpoint, um, I think years ago we Rainbow. did have different different colors, different yeah. colors um, but that wasn't as popular. No. So we we just went with the the regular color of, of green and then and the midnight you know, the, is, is I've heard Flora say it's a great product because you have to use less product correct. in some cases. Correct. So so it really it, it you know covers that those 
bald spots, right. <laughs> you could right. say. So right. I've, I've been a fan of that, and right. I, I work with a wholesaler, and they do very well with that product. No, that's great. That's great. <laughs> Good here. Yeah. Right. I don't know, I don't know how they make, make the stuff. I watched somebody uh, maybe Syndicate was making it. Home. I went to their factory, and they, you know, the giant block comes out. Right. And they cut it with a water, I think, mm. with a water jet. Yeah, it's yeah. Very cool. There are different ways things. that you can, lots of different ways you can cut it, and, and it's a uh, unique product. Yeah, it's, well, it's been around a long time. Developed in 1954. There it was. So 1954. 1954. I remember as a kid playing with it, I put my finger in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was tons of fun. Yeah. You hear the, the scr crunching noise. Yeah. I, love, I still do it to this day. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your fingers out of the oasis. <laughs> 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 So thank you. I guess you had another question. No, I think we, uh, you know, I, I believe we've wrapped it up to this point that look, you you saw an opportunity. Uh, well, obviously, as you know, you were working together before, so it's almost a natural process. Right. But uh, uh, it's good when those things happen and can come together, and 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 it's to the benefit of the industry because again, he's going to get more resources that uh, we're going to make him more efficient, right. or his division now more efficient. So. Um, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's all good. It's it is really it is all good. So exciting. It's all good. And, uh, yeah, it's a good transition for you because uh, none of us are getting very younger. I don't know. Uh, he's the only one. And that's why we, I'm hanging out with you. <laughs> aren't we really, getting younger, aren't we getting younger every day? Isn't that how this works? Yeah. I, I, I went to the doctor one day and I said, my toe hurts. She said, well, get younger. <laughs> I said, oh, like, I'm um, not sure I can do that. Right, the best part about it for me is my baby. It's your baby's protected. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's in good hands. That's me. And, and no, that's, that's a good that, transition. That, that comes from our And it's two innovators connecting, so it's not you know different worlds, and, and that's something I see. No, so it's a complementary product. product yeah. Let's face yeah. it. It's a it's a complementary yes. product that, that works well in your bevy of, uh, of of products. So. And it's so unique. Think about it. And it's unique. It. Yeah, you, you, you have, have, no, you have you know. no real competitor, and so. It's, it's, in, the, uh, in the retail world, we have little people like Kylana. No, yeah, we, yeah. we don't care about that. We don't care about that. We have no competitors. So, so on that note, and we're always doing this. We're always talk, trying to end. We're like, oh, there's more questions. Okay. So and when it comes to the painting, we I've seen, I follow many trends on Instagram social. It's just going bonkers, right? It's not Love stopping. It. It, it's, it's really increasing, and they're mm -hmm. creating art on these flowers. And theriums, that's the newest thing. So yeah. you think... So tell us about that. What trends have you seen? What what exciting new things have you seen out there? Well, I mean, one of the using our product design master on on plants and and yeah. flowers. I mean, we sell to a lot of plant growers. The whole poinsettia thing was a lot of fun and continues, and okay. that's just sort of evolved into uh, color enhancing plants, uh, just, yeah. just adding more value and bringing a color story to uh, to a plant. And it is compatible on plants as it is with with flowers. So. Probably the biggest uh, trend, if I could identify one, is the whole the whole concept of color shifting, of of kind of you yes. know taking a blue and either darkening it or softening it. And with our product, that's fairly easy to do. And the Just for Flowers is a product that's made specifically for that. Yeah. It's a dye as opposed to a pigmented color tool. So you're, so, able, to, so you're able to really softly move colors. And so that whole color shifting is something that I think mm -hmm. the creative designer is enjoying being able to shift colors up, down, left, right, that whatever shade they need to get and they can accomplish. And we've seen that growth in the last, what, two, three years? Or? Yeah, and it's, in, it's for all of the varieties of flowers and all of the colors, yeah. um, they still need to do some color enhancing. Let's do a little bit. You know, it a little yeah, bit. Yeah. yes. Well, and, you know, God bless the bride that says, I wanted a, I want that hydrangea in deeper blue. I wanted a deeper okay. green. Hang on a minute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go back and find we can do that. <laughs> yeah, I've been at wholesaler spray painting the, the the green hypericum pink for a Valentine's Day. Right. Yeah. And selling it for a couple of pennies more because you just use it to that one. But it's sold. Yeah. So so there's a lot of opportunity there if you use it right. Thank you again. All right. Well, thank you for coming and, the, thank and, you so and spending much. this time with us. It's been a fun little thing that we've uh, decided to do. And uh, again, it's been out live, and I'll, I'll wrap it up in one of my videos. And we'll. Thanks for the opportunity. Yes. Thank All you right. for your time. Thank so you. Much. Thank, thank you. Very now much. we're going to do a live.